Hi everybody. Um, let's see, I wanted to make a video today about um, something I had looked for for a while. Um, sometimes, uh, sometimes in the process of looking, you find just the right thing. You didn't always know it existed. It, it, it turns out to be just what you're looking for. And, uh, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, entering my house, my apartment late at night, uh, if the lights aren't on, I don't like fumbling for the switches right inside the doorway. They're right there. I just don't like having to do it. Tried motion sensors, tried a couple things, uh, but none of them really seemed to work. So it turns out motion sensitive things were really not what I was, should have been looking for because, you know, uh, you know, they're, they're just not that sensitive. So, uh, I eventually picked up on the idea that, uh, one of the older designs for sound sensitive, um, light switches, uh, you know, they, they basically, you know, switch whatever you plug, have plugged into it. Um, like the clapper. Um, the only thing is, uh, something that caught my eye for some reason was, uh, the clapper plus. And the Clapper Plus basically came to my attention um, as I was reading through some of the features on it, basically just kind of made me want to look into it just a little bit more. Has a remote control, uh, keychain remote control, basically uh, lets you control the two plug-in ports on the bottom of the unit that plug into the wall there. So you can control two different devices with the remote control, or you can clap twice to control the first port or three times to control the second port. Um, kind of cool, really. But it also has on the side of the unit um, a selector switch. You have high sensitivity, low sensitivity, and away mode. And I keep mine in away mode um, all the time for reasons I'll mention right after this, this intro. Uh, you know, I'll show you what, uh, how it looks out there. Um, I just wanted to, to give you a brief intro and show you um, that something like this is either designed to, uh, you know, the high or low mode on the side. You know, you can basically clap twice or three times to control either one of those uh, ports on the bottom uh, of the clapper. Um, or you can use your remote control. Literally, you have two buttons on there. One is for port one, one is for port two. two. They're both perfect for doing that. Um, away mode is perfect for my, my dilemma um, because um, I barely have to make any noise at all as I'm coming through the door. Um, technically, reaching for the lights inside is all that takes for that thing to go off. But it's designed to be away mode. Uh, a light flashes on that unit um, when it's in away mode. It is, as the instructions say, it's designed to um, to scare burglars off or, or you know intruders, because the first time it, it hears something in away mode, it's going to uh, going to go off for ten seconds, and then the light will go off, the uh, the light that it's attached to. Ten seconds, and after that, if it hears something again, it goes on for ten minutes and goes off and then repeats the 10 minute cycle, but it's never any more than 10 minutes because they figure they're designing it for people who are away. So when you put it in away mode, you really don't ever have to worry about it being on continuously, especially if you really are away. Um, but it's perfect for, you know, if you want something sensitive, that's just not going to stay on all night anyway. Um, you can always use the remote to turn these things off. Um, but, uh, yeah, that would be a whole different situation for me if I actually, you know, had to bother with uh, putting it through the, uh, you know, the high or the low sensitivity mode and forgetting to turn it off. It would stay on indefinitely. So I, I just bypass all that and I just go straight for the the away mode. And um, it's the easiest thing in the world to walk through the door and just clap once or a half a time and I have this thing go on for 10 minutes is, is a joy. Um, can't say I found it anywhere else. I've tried motion sensors, things that cost money. I just, you know, it's kind of nice. So I thought I'd make that recommendation.
And uh, anyway, I'll take you into the next room and I'll show you, you know, what it looks like in action. And um, you know, it's a very practical, practical device. And uh, maybe it's a little more advanced than Clappers used to be. I'm not sure, but as far as I'm concerned, it runs laps around, you know, something like a motion sensitive IR device or something that really doesn't doesn't work. So, um, all right. Well, I'll I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi, I'm back again. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give a good practical demo for um, you know what I use my Clapper Plus for, and um, how I appreciate the uh, just how easy it is to operate um, to operate it. It's uh, you know, this kind of thing can be had at uh, uh, on eBay, Amazon, uh, Mercari, places like that. Still new in box uh, for about $30 on up. Um, yeah, here's the uh, switch on the side I was referring to. Three position switch all the way down the bottom is low away mode. And, uh, of course, each of the two ports on the bottom works with... Uh, you know, claps. The first one is uh, two claps here, uh, and the other port is three claps. So you can actually operate them with claps, or you can use the remote control uh, because they strictly operate each of the ports independently. It's kind of cool. But I wanted to just take a moment because uh, I guess it's I guess it's kind of a review, really. I've always looking been looking forward to something. You know, if it takes just a a little bit too long for me to reach for the, you know, the lights inside my doorway here. Um, well, what are you going to do? I never realized that sound sensitive, uh, you know, things like clappers would actually work. But these are these are clearly just a little bit more advanced than they uh, than they used to be. Um, there's a little more to them. Uh, they take a CR2032 battery. Um, and uh, if you want, you can put a CR2025 battery, and they just won't last as long as the other ones. Uh, well, this one here controls port one, and in, in port one there, we have uh, the cord for my lamp. And, uh, of course, my gooseneck lamp has a, a physical toggle switch. It has to be that type of lamp. It can't be a touch-sensitive lamp for it to work. It just has to be on all the time. And, of course, the clapper will turn it on. Uh, so that blinking red light tells you it is in away mode. And uh, the two other possibilities on the side for the selector switch are high and low mode most of which will result in either having to clap something on and clap it off or to need to actually turn it off uh, because it'll stay on if you don't. So I love it in away mode. It's really, uh, really a, a done deal for me. Uh, best thing I ever found. So if I hit this, of course, my lamp will turn on. And uh, I can always turn the lamp on or off with that, even in away mode. So, uh, nice little keychain model. And being able to get these brand new, still, you know, new in the box is very nice. Um, as far as I can tell, they're kind of unique because everything else is uh, more of a, uh, uh, you know, emotion sensitive type of thing. And, and from, where, from where that clapper is right there to my door is just a little too far for anything to be practical to do something like turning on a light switch. Um, you know, sound, sound sensitive, uh, uh, you know, uh, clapper things have been around for a long, long time. I just don't remember them having the different away modes, um, you know, extra sensitive away modes, which is perfect because uh, you technically you don't have to clap twice or three times for this. You just make some noise. And the first time, the first time you make a noise, uh, it's designed to scare someone away. So that's why they call it away mode. It'll go on for 10 seconds, period. Um, but beyond that, um, 
If it hears something else, it'll, it'll come on for 10 minutes, but no more than 10 minutes. Uh, very good product. Um, and, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, you can use either one or both of the ports down the bottom to plug up the two devices in. Uh, you know, just to recap there, I mean, you can use your remote control to control port one or two. Um, it's really, really not a bad, bad thing at all, especially when you realize, um, well, I was kind of looking for something like this for a long time. It kind of kind of shines just enough light when I'm walking in the door to, you know, uh, let me make a little bit of noise. I guess I have to cough or something because it's not, not supposed to pick up on me talking here, but here we go. <coughs> <coughs> See, it's, um, it's really kind of sensitive. And that's 40 watts of LED right there um, that would otherwise just kind of light up uh, my doorway. That's everything I was looking for and very hard to find. Um, Clapper Plus has done it for me. Um, I just wanted to mention it's worked as, you know, as described. And it's like, I was just so glad to find it. Um, I usually let it go off by itself because it's in away mode. Um, it's actually sensitive enough in away mode to actually go off in the daytime, even if I'm just, uh, you know, you know, doing things around the house. It's, but believe me, it kind of stays there. I like it that way. I don't like forgetting to set it on away mode. Uh, the other ones, um, I don't really want it to be an accidental thing where I leave it in high mode or low mode instead. And, um, you know, if it went off for some reason, it would stay on until I came home to turn it off. And I just, you know, I just prefer it in away mode. So I found something I really, really like, and uh, maybe it's just these options of away mode and things like that, that they added to, uh, you know, uh, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's what really, uh, caught my eye with this product, but you know, it's here to stay. I haven't found anything to rival it yet. Um, well, anyway, everybody, thank you for letting me get that out there. It's just an honest review here for, um, you know, Clapper plus, um, so, um, you know, anyway, um, thanks for watching and, um, you know, I hope to see you in my next video. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.